And welcome to the relationship between a graph and its derivative. Uh, so recall that the derivative at uh, x equals c is essentially the slope of the graph slash is the slope of the tangent line. Uh, at x equals c. So if we just think about slope uh, and what it means for a graph, recall that positive slope, the graph is going up, negative slope, the graph is going down, um, and then uh, we have constant slope as well. So, so positive slope, Let's change color quickly. Again, so positive slope. The graph is going up, it's increasing. Negative slope. The graph is going down. And then if we have slope zero, then the graph should look constant, right? We should have a horizontal line. So what we have, if we just put these two facts together, uh, we have what we need. So if we have a positive derivative, in other words, if the derivative is greater than zero, then the graph of f should be increasing, should have positive slope. So putting these together, if f prime of x is greater than zero, then the graph of f of x is increasing. That's our first statement. Next up, if f prime of x is less than zero, if we have a negative derivative and we have a negative slope, then the graph of f of x is decreasing. And then finally, if f prime of x equals zero, and the graph of f of x uh, is neither increasing or decreasing. It is essentially flat. Or horizontal at that point. So. I have a graph here uh, of a cubic function. And we are going to approximate uh, for some of these, we're not going to give the exact value, but our job will be to find where the function itself is positive, negative, or equal to zero. And then it looks like I never actually finished. This last one should say, where is f prime of x equal to zero? All right, so <laughs> going back here, if we want to find where is f of x greater than zero, that's just the function itself. So we're looking for it's where it's above the x-axis.
So all the places where we are above the x-axis, we're above the x-axis till approximately x equals negative three. Then we drop below, then we're above the x-axis uh, between about negative 0 0.5 and two, and then we're below. So f of x is above the x-axis where I highlighted. And so that becomes, uh, it's above the x-axis from negative infinity to approximately negative three. And then again, from approximately negative 0 0.5 to approximately two. If we want to find where f of x is less than zero, again, we're just talking about the function itself. Then we're looking at where it is below the x-axis. So let's do that in green. So below the x-axis. We're below the x-axis from about negative three to negative 0 0.5, and then from about two on. So again, from approximately negative three to negative 0 0.5, and then uh, from approximately two on forever. Where is f of x equal to zero? Well, precisely where we switch, right? This is at the x-axis. So, ah, it deleted my last thing. Um, so again, this was uh, when it's below the x-axis. And we'd found that was from around negative three to around negative 0 0.5, and then from approximately two on to infinity. Uh, then we want to know where is f of x equal to zero? This is on the x axis. So it crosses the x axis at those points of interest where we switched, right? So this is at uh, x is approximately negative three, approximately 0 0.5, sorry, negative 0 0.5 and approximately two. Now we're going to switch things up. Let's find where is f prime of x greater than zero. So again, now we're talking about the derivative. So when the derivative is greater than zero, uh, we are looking for the function f is going up. So for the derivative to be greater than zero, that means the slope is positive. Our function is going up. So it looks like, Oops, sorry about that. So f is going up. It looks like it starts going up at negative two. And then it keeps going up until one. And then it looks like it turns back around. So before negative two, the graph is definitely heading down. After one, the graph is heading down. So between negative two and one looks to be where the graph is going up. is from negative two to one. Then where is f prime of x less than zero? Um, for this one, we are looking at that f is heading down. Right, so f prime of x less than zero means the slope is negative, so we're decreasing. And so if we look where that is happening, 
Well, the function is going down, 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 down until we hit negative two. And then we're going, starting at one, it's hitting down, 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 down. So in this case, this happens from negative infinity to negative two. And then again, from one to infinity, all of these were open. The place where it's flat, We're looking at basically f looks like it's flat at that brief point. So if we look at the places where we turned around, went from going up to going down, the graph, if we zoomed in, would essentially look flat at those points. And right? that's where the, the tangent line is just the flat horizontal line. Um, so in this case, we wind up with this happening at x equals negative two and one. So the two places. Uh, where we switched from going down to going up and then going up to going down, that switch is where the derivative is equal to zero. Uh, so this is a bit of a preview for later in the course uh, when we want to figure out where a function turns around, one thing we can do is we can look for where the derivative equals zero. Um, so this is just sort of the relationship uh, between the graph and its derivative uh, using the fact that the derivative is just that slope or the slope of the tangent line.